dancers. I almost fell. Not a good beginning. Myself, <laughs> down to Miss Lauren. We're going to show you our new move of the week, simply called Back to Back. We're going back to back. Can that be creepy with it? First show it to you. Sugar push, two, three, and four. Five and six. One, two, three, and four. Five and six. Seven and eight. Nine and ten. Send her through. She sends herself back down the track. How you lead this, guys, obviously, is you're using your back, upper shoulders to lead your follow. Not really using your hands until the end. So the lead's got to be specific. So we're going to go front to back first. One, two, sugar push. Three and four. You're going to move it to the left for her. One, two. Guys, move off to your right, move off to her left. Because you really want to make sure she feels the beginning. Because if you don't put her there, it doesn't work. Five and six. We're going to go one, two. For three, I'm going to let go of her right hand. Three. But I'm going to connect with her arm, her right, my left, upper arm, elbow. I want to connect with that arm because I want her to feel the connection is still there. From there, we're going to just do one, two, three, and four. We're just going to stay on my right or left. So I'm going to push, three and four, five and six, go one, two, three and four. So I'm on my right, she's on the left. We're just going to shift weight over the other way, five and six. So we're not moving, we're just swaying. So let's go front to back. Seven and eight. By seven and eight, I'm on my left foot. She's on her right. I have her right hand. Okay? Sorry, her left. Her left. You're going to pull her through on a triple step. Triple step. We're going to send her down the track. Walk, walk. Let her go. The move is done. So look how it flows when we do it all the way through. Okay? We're just going to go right into it. So one, two, three, and four, five, and six, seven, and eight, nine, and ten. Send her through. And let her go. Okay, we'll go this direction. Sugar push. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, and four. Five and six. Pick up her hands. Seven and eight. Come through. Get out of her way. Send her through. There you go. Move is done. So, guys, when you get to eight, get off the track so she has a clear view of it. And then you're finished. Sugar push. One, two, three, and four. Five and six. One, two, Five and six, pick up her hand, pivot turn, send her through, the move is done. So it's really led back to back. The key to this is you want to be connected with her back. So when I'm here, I'm really just arching my back so she's connected there. You don't want to be up in her back. Don't do that. But you really want to make sure she feels that the rotations are done in the upper part of the back. That makes you back to back. It's a very talented lady. She's going to explain to you where you can find her online. So my business is called Dancing with Markers. I'm a visual facilitator. Now I'm a virtual facilitator. And I do coaching, meeting facilitation, as well as it's called graphic recording all online. So if you're looking for ways to make your meetings more engaging, and also if you're a leader out there, you might need a little help right now because everyone's going through transitions, we can talk about leadership coaching as well. You can find me at Dancing with markers.com and we'll put that in the uh, links in the uh, comments as well. Yeah. Everything will be down below to contact her, a very talented lady. Please look her up, please support her. Please support this channel as well. Remember give us a thumbs up, subscribe, it's free. We'll see you next time. Until then, have a great week. Keep dancing. With markers. Mark